Let that be drop. Hmm. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Janar. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're with me. We're going to do a little something different today. We're going to do a speed build. While we're at it, we're going to answer some questions. The villains have spoken. Thank you for all your submissions. I'm going to get to all the questions. Let's get it. All right, so the first question is, could you do a modern light pink loft house with a pool party backyard theme? Say less, fam. Say less. That's exactly what we're creating. We're creating a one bedroom, one bath, modern light pink loft with a pool party. Wait, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. How can you have a one bedroom loft? It's just a loft, right? A loft is basically a building with very minimum rooms in it right that's right right hit up the comment section and let me know all right so favorite sims world i'm probably gonna say sam mishuno and probably del so valley especially if you go in and recreate del so valley and just add a bunch of really awesome stuff from the gallery then you're you're set favorite sims townie um i'm gonna probably say katrina um i don't know why but I really like her, and I before I knew she was like a legit Sims 4 townie that was from Oasis Springs, I had actually ended up marrying her and having like a whole family and all that good stuff. And the Sims, of course, not in real life. <laughs> Favorite thing to build? Honestly, I love building basements. A lot of the times I would build like little bars under there, a gym, under a home, or like a speakeasy inside of like a library or something. So yeah, I love doing really cool little basements. Favorite built EA lot? Um, I'm thinking, I don't really have one because I always go in and either refurbish them, like do a remodel or go to the gallery and do a remodel version of it. And then if I'm not doing that, I just recreate something else but just to answer the question i'm thinking maybe one of the karaoke bars in sam mishuno because i really love that world and i love the karaoke bars in that world so i'm probably going to say that what is your favorite part of the sims good question two parts i think one of them is probably the gameplay i love family generational type gameplay so i like to just create families and just play out a story with them it just gives me a, a creative outlet and then the second part for me is just the therapy part of creating builds or if i'm like again playing a family i like to like remodel the homes and stuff like that and just like to just sit and just like try to be creative but with no pressure of creating like the most amazing build like for example with this with this loft here you're watching like i'm I love the idea of like trying to think of, of being able to create a loft using very minimum items like, for example, the color pink. So I'm using pink and mostly white to create this loft. So, and this is therapy for me. Like I was literally just like, you know, recording this and also building the loft while watching some stuff on, on Hulu. So it was nice. It's just very therapeutic for me. All right, what got you into playing The Sims? Well, I started playing Sims since The Sims 1 days, and that was back in 2000, I wanna say 2001, 2002. I was a junior probably, maybe going into my senior year in high school. And from there, it was just a fun game because it was different. I wasn't really playing Sim City because it was just a little different concept. So I was really enjoying the fact that I can control uh, you know, people and tell them what to do, and it was just addicting. And and back then, it wasn't like the thing to do. I mean, so it was it was just a new concept. And I played Sims One, played Sims Two, um, and then I had Sims Three, but it didn't work on my computer. So then eventually, I just forgot about Sims Three, and then Sims Four came out. I started playing Sims Four because I just remember how much fun I had playing Sims One, Sims Two. So yeah, so I got Sims 4 and just again, fell in love with the concept, been playing it since for a couple years now and yeah, I love it. So that's what initially got me into it. It's just been a childhood game and I just grown to continue to play it. Favorite hobby other than The Sims? Let's see, well, I love to listen to podcasts and at one point I used to podcast so I really need to bring that hobby back um, when it comes to podcasting. Also, um, I really honestly love playing guitar. So 
so yeah <laughs> playing guitar yeah one of my hobbies i used to be in quite a bit of bands in my day uh punk bands indie rock bands uh hip-hop ish kind of a band i used to produce beats i miss it i'll pick up the guitar from time to time but uh, not as much as i used to and this is perfect timing here what is your favorite floor treatment i'm gonna be honest with you i like everything from the spa pack so any towel and including wallpaper from the spa pack that's like one of my all-time favorite towels and wallpapers that ha that sims 4 has to offer for me in my opinion so when did you start your sims youtube channel um according to youtube i started it back in december 10th 1920 <laughs> 2020 dang yeah that's when i that's when i started it why did you start your youtube channel well i kind of like i said i enjoy playing the game I, i'm a huge family generational type game player and i like documenting my game um because you get attached to sims and so what i thought it would be really cool is because i really got into the whole legacy challenge thing i was watching a bunch of legacy challenge gameplays and I was like, I should just create my own, just record my myself playing the game so I can document it and then go back and watch them later and treat them like seasons and my own thing to binge watch, to sit on the couch and watch it. So that was the initial thing. So I love the game so much. I like playing it. And then it would be kind of cool if, you know, people wanted to come through and check it out. And then I realized... I can probably be kind of insightful and entertaining at the same time. Maybe throw out some ranking videos or throw out how to do cinematic uh, camera movements within The Sims and then create these fun little montages of stuff that I think people would get a laugh out of. And yeah, that's what really initially started it. And I have so many cool creative ideas and let's plays and and tutorials that I want to get to. So there's just so much content. So it just excites me to just, you know, record and build a community around my around my content because initially i didn't even think there would be any opportunities to really um have people wanting to come in and check out my content you know i love you know doing silly stuff so that's why i came up with like the 10 minute build challenges and started doing a lot of those because you get a little bit of my personality and i can kind of train myself how to be a better and faster builder um but yeah like i have so many ideas for let's plays where it's almost like i already have like two seasons worth of a let's play already that i'm working on now so that way when i launch it everything will hopefully fall in place but anyway that's why I, that's why i started the channel it's just another way that i could be creative and i can have a little bit of fun there's no pressure um because obviously i have other channels and i also do other things outside of just you know playing sims and, and providing content for the sims community so this is just another outlet that I really enjoy and I really embrace. And this community has been very supportive and, and amazing. And I'm very honored to be part of the Sims community. Um, I I enjoy and I'm embracing the slow growth of this channel. I'm not looking for millions of subscribers. I'm just looking for a community of people who just want to hang out. You know, I mean, the pandemic has been a situation where we weren't able to really hang out in person and, and all that good stuff. So virtually it's been the thing for the past year. So for me, I like being able to create friendships and, and community around a game you know like i never thought that i would be asking answering questions to some friends that i've developed in such a short period of time so that's initially why i created it and it's just a nice way of documenting my journey as a sims player in a very novice builder so it's kind of nice because i can go back to my older videos and, and see what i was doing back then and then i can actually go and watch my let's plays and and kind of treat it as like my own show that i can binge watch it's really exciting it really is favorite workout right now hands down my favorite workout right now currently is probably a nice high intensity interval training I love doing a nice little low impact 30 minute jam and get my heart rate up. And uh, before that, it used to be just going out for a nice two to three mile jog. But you know, now I kind of like just doing everything from home these days. So a nice little high intensity interval training, AKA HIT workout is usually my jam. What's your favorite food? Okay, so my favorite cuisine I would probably say is probably Chinese food. I mean, I love me some good old Chinese food. And I would say specifically, Food-wise, I love a good burger. 
and chicken wings. I love me some buffalo wings or some chicken wings with the buffalo wing sauce on the side. That's usually what I go with. So Chinese food as the cuisine and then burgers and wings. Love it. What's your favorite TV show to binge? Hmm, that's a good question. Now, my definition of binge is a show that I can literally watch more than three episodes in one sitting. With that being said, it's usually older shows, kind of like, for example, Girlfriends. I can watch that from season one all the way to season five and then do it all over again. Uh, Parenthood, Friday Night Lights, and freaks and geeks honestly i can watch all those i can binge watch a whole season in one day if i could where's your favorite place place you've always wanted to visit uh i'm gonna say a place that i've always wanted to visit for some odd reason was romania like i don't know i had some fascination with that country for some reason um and then also i would love to go somewhere in france um somewhere small like a very small community of france i mean yeah of course i'll go to paris for a day or whatever to do all the touristy stuff but some like a small little cunt like community of, of france just to get that real ex no real experience french experience and in regards to a place i've already been to i would say probably dubai that was a lot of fun i went back in 2011 for my best friend's wedding ended up being his best man and let me tell you, that was an awesome experience and probably the second time I've ever been out of the country. Um, not Well, also including Mexico, because I go back and forth to Mexico every once in a while. But yeah, Dubai has probably been one of my favorite places that I've been to. All right, last but not least, what's your job and how did you get into it? Okay, cool. I am self-employed. I do a lot of videography, photography, and video editing, and I also do audio editing, such as podcast, and now that's also branched out into video and audio for podcast editing. And so basically what that is, is I just get a bunch of clients that need video work and sometimes photo work. Um, my niche in the photography world is primarily food and entertainment, so most of the time I'm shooting photos of food. Um, or I might go to an event and I might photograph the event or film the event. Um, and when I'm doing video editings, that's anywhere from the tech industry to nonprofits, a little bit of real estate editing, and obviously food, hospitality, stuff like that. And yes, yeah, all self employed. Um, I have quite a bit of you know um, clientele. Um, some are monthly, some are, you know, I get from word of mouth and yeah, I do all my work through the Nardcast, uh, call it Nardcast Media. Most, again, most of the time it's basically self-contracting, but sometimes I do get bigger projects that require a team and hopefully by the end of the year, I'll have quite a few people to, um, reach out to when I'm in need of drone footage or I need a s assistant biographer and all that good stuff. But to answer your question, yeah, I basically do editing photography and film pretty much as a full-time gig and uh yeah i've been doing that since 2014 and before that i was working for a news industry news media publishing company um here locally and then i also worked in television um i did everything from audio mixing to um video floor directing producing and writing and also wrote for a local magazine and yeah i did it all and before that i was working in insurance but yeah that's pretty much how i got in my gig now is they laid me off um from the news station or i guess the news print media publishing place and um called union tribune and um yeah and i took the opportunity to just pretty much you know work on my own you know and and i haven't looked back since it's been a great experience uh, again i've been doing this since 2014 and yeah um it's nice it's pretty much like i'm um, that one shop stop for all your multimedia needs you know i come across as like that video content creator for all forms of media whether it's podcast or you need photo photography or you need something for social media or you need something that you need for your marketing needs 
or you need something for an ad i'm pretty much the person that can at least get all that stuff done or get a team of people to do it so yeah that's pretty much my work in a two minute spill <laughs> Well, that's uh, pretty much all the questions. Um, again, I really appreciate you guys throwing some questions at me on Instagram. I might start doing this more often if I think I can get through speed bills and do a little something different. Um, just because I feel like all the speed bills are always the same. People, you know, get on there and just talk about the build or whatever. But um, you can pretty much see what's happening, you know. Like I can talk about, oh yeah, I'm doing the landscaping and I'm adding some bird boxes there and i went with the lighting there so you could add a little bit of more lighting outside of the patio and yada yada you know you're seeing what i'm doing but um but just to talk a little bit about the the build before i wrap up and you get to see the tour at the end of it um i really did enjoy building this um i try to give myself a challenge of trying to you know make everything match like obviously i was going for the light pink look and also just if anything uh, wasn't pink i went with white uh, as you can see um from the first question i was asked they wanted it to have like a backyard party theme so when i hear party i hear jacuzzi hot tub i hear music i hear a bar i hear um a grill so yeah but in a way enjoy this speed build be sure you like comment subscribe and i hope you enjoyed um the q a and thanks. Thanks for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Till next time, I'll see you when I see you. Peace.